made my coffee really strong today. I am growing hair out of places that shouldn't exist. I'm just kidding, but that's what people say, right? <laughs> oh man, it's the weekend. How are you guys doing? Um, who's watching these? Claim yourself. If I claim yourself, claim your, um, what is, what am I trying to say? Anyway, go ahead and like this video if, um, if you're watching this. I'd like to just get a sense of how many people are tuning in. Um, let me know what you think of these vids. Welcome to the weekend. only today let's bring in some messages that'll help us through the day all right what do we got going on full moon libra a win-win outcome is forecast win-win This is about balancing your desires, your needs with those of others, other people's. And also we got new moon Libra, double Libra energy. Something is coming into balance for sure. New moon Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Lots of purple, lots of purple and the gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Interesting, interesting. This is about a new beginning, uh, but it's the energy of it is sort of like, uh, instead of hiding your intentions, this is about sort of coming clean with some intention here. Um, in, so in the context of a situation you might be dealing with, um, you're sort of allowing the cards to be shown and that is, that is balance. That is everyone is sort of hopefully getting what they want because everyone is showing what they need. And so those needs can be met once they're out in the open. You're very close to achieving your goal. The gibbous moon is the moon right before like single digit percentage percentile away from the full moon so this is sort of on the precipice of something coming to fruition very close of something um, being ready to uh, be released lots of good energy here with libra balance 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 so, let's see what the tarot has to say about all that. All right, there we go. Commitment, the four of, four of wands. Look at this beautiful card. I can't get over how beautiful these cards are. I think I say it every single reading, but when I look at them, that's how I feel. I'm just like, look how cute this is. Look how beautiful the artwork is. There's bees buzzing. There's a little beehive. There's dragonflies. There's a family of foxes hanging out in the forest just being chill. The Four of Wands. This is the commitment card. Then we have the sun. The Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. The wise old tree coming out again. The Ten of Wands. Death. Knight of Pentacles. Spring, as in the season. And a new moon here. We have triple new energy coming out. Um, something 
deep within you feels like something is being renewed. You are understanding now how something is supposed to work. You're feeling there's, there's new life, there's new intention, there's transformation. You're letting go of something you've been carrying that hasn't, that was once something you believed, but it's no longer the case. You're realizing how, how you're either something you know or, or believe to be the truth has caused you to become rigid to your own growth, your own development. You've been almost like carrying something unnecessarily. That is what's being transformed. It's like you want to you want to hold on to the good things. Um and your belief in in something that might be good for you, something that makes you feel inspired or in your power, in your in something that's extremely positive for you, I see you wanting to hold on to that. But something about that situation for yourself needs to be renewed. So there's some there's some angle of it that's just um, that has changed that you're now coming around seeing like a new perspective on. If that makes sense you're coming there's some new knowledge coming in for sure new knowledge or a new offer of, of something oh this is the knight of pentacles so another message here is that you've um, you're challenging something, you're challenging what you know, and it, this is a lot of work to like go back and, and look at the ways we've been conditioned, if you will, to transform that. That's been a lot of work, but what I see here is that this is consistent work leading to something brand new, leading to some sort of renewal, leading to perhaps some sort of higher level of commitment, um, or simply this is you committing to yourself. This level of commitment is you really being in the energy of, I want to do what feels good to me. I want to do what's right for me. And maybe that's why this full moon Libra is showing up as in when the, fir the first few times or the first few steps you, we advocate for ourselves and what we need and what we want, that com can come into clash with the needs of other people. So there is a balance needing to be had here of some sort of understanding of this is me this is what I want this is you this is what you want again um, I feel like the way that we've been conditioned to think about people's needs is is that your needs automatically come opposed to mine they oppose mine somehow because it's different than what I want or it's different than what I need or it's different than how I think you know what I mean when the truth is there's absolutely nothing wrong with it um, it's just that we all exist you know we all exist as individuals in the context of of our communities of our friendships of our families and so we do need to commit to ourselves first and foremost um, yet not wish harm or ill on other people it's just simply um, what's here is is there this, there's sort of like a very healthy sort of energy of doing the work and transforming something that which you know and, and getting a new perspective on it planting new seeds new intentions into a higher level of commitment You're very close to achieving your goal. What is your goal? Ooh, the sun just came out. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, adjustment may be required. sun goes away then I guess I'll have to change that up again but yeah 
Where are we on time? Ten minutes. Guys, this is a new record for a reading. I was feeling good this morning, though. I think it's this card combo. And it's even brighter now. There we go. How about this? Let's read from the Moonology book, because what I love about that book is that it's got um, a lot of different meanings to each of the cards. So something might, something that resonates for one person might, um, might not matter to the other and, and vice versa. There might be different things happening here. Okay, the, so we got, first of all, the double Libra energy, the full moon and then the new moon. So I'll read the full moon first. A win-win outcome is forecast. The full moon in Libra, a sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since the full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow. Perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. Like I was saying, it's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible when you give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. So season came out, spring is here. Okay. The feeling that I'm getting in the present moment is that you're sort of like holding on until springtime for something to happen. Something's, something might happen in the spring. So I have the four, four of pentacles, the ten of wands in the center here. Ten days. Hmm. Ten weeks? What's well, ten weeks from now? Would be springtime. Ten weeks, possibly. I don't know. Uh, it's time for you to make a firm decision. See the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. Change your perspective. Like I was saying, time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Yeah, maybe for uh, the next ten weeks. Look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. But actually, wait till the end of Venus retrograde for that. So next Saturday. No matter when you pull the full moon in Libra card, it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you. Balance is a very Libra... Libran? Did they make that up? Libra? I'd say Libra-esque energy, and the full moon brings it to its peak. Dramas and upsets bring partnerships to a fore. Libra energy also brings love energy. Negotiations are easier. Interesting. I may or may not have put out an offer to begin a negotiation myself this morning. So let's hope I can take some of this energy with me. The next card, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon, Libra. New moon, Libra. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. Yes, like I was saying, renegotiating what you know. The wise old tree always tells us about when has knowledge made you rigid to adapting or to changing something. Where have we become inflexible in our beliefs? When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and someone else. A new relationship could be beginning, and if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. In anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. That's for somebody, because like I said, we have commitment here. There's commitment. A legal matter will go your way. Let's tune it back up. Pay attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. The teaching. 
Uh, Libra is the sign of love and harmony, negotiation and relationships. It is harmonious, kind, and luxurious. And always aiming for balance. So when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everything connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances, and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of scales. This energy wants to bring this back to things back to equilibrium. Um, it didn't come out yet in the, this word at least, but karma. Karma is right this idea that what goes around comes around. So when justice appears, Libra energy, something is being brought into balance. Things are being held accounted for. I could see this reading two ways. Someone is committing to themselves um, to challenge their own belief system and let go of something that isn't working for them anymore. And in that way, you are being transformed, right? There's a new beginning for you. And for another, for others, this might be a love reading, but I don't see really love in the cards except for in this in this moonology this is this something about uh, a partnership or, or doing something in pairs so maybe we'll pull a few more cards after i read the last one and then and that'll be that but um let me know which version of this reading is working for you you're very close to achieving your goal the gibbous moon that's right I feel like this is the funny description where it's just like something bulging. I don't know, we'll see. Where are you at? Give us moon. Yeah. You're very close to achieving your goal. The word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But no, this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense. Don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to the situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. I know I'm on the right track. Now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move toward your dreams. Stay focused. Now is a good time to start a new project. You need to get back into good health habits. The give this moon comes at the very end of the lunar cycle, just before the full moon. She looks like she's bulging because she's almost a full moon. So she's nearly fully rounded. It's the culmination of the waxing cycle and as such tends to be a rather intense period of the month. No matter when you pull this card, it suggests a very ripe time in a very ripe situation. Very interesting. Well, look, Venus retrograde is a week from being over, and, and the messages everyone has been talking about regarding the Venus retrograde is that the, it's not a good time to commit to partnerships to to commit to um to you know to sign contracts make big investments um and start new projects so this reading although i asked for today i feel like this is just really pointing towards the very near future where everything you've been working on up and you know from mid-december up until now and through the end of this month will all come to fruition, come to fruition. I'll just say, um, it all has meaning, all of the work that has been done. And it may not be clear yet, but the questioning that has happened, it's almost like you're, you're very close to achieving your goal, as in you have found new answers, people around you have new answers to questions they've also been considering, and so, at the end of the retrograde at the end of the month possibly in february there might be maybe that's why there's so much love because like 
Valentine's is coming up and February is always like this like sort of lovey sort of energy month. Something in February will, I see a new moon here, that's the 31st. The next new moon is on the 31st. It's a new moon in Aquarius. What was I saying? Um, something is ripe. Some situation is ripe. Something has been ripening during this retrograde. It's now, some, you know, you're going to be able to move forward here pretty soon. Okay. Um, any clarifications? What can we ask about here? First of all, I see Leo here. Oh, sorry. Um, the sun. Leo energy, but that's also a water sign, so... Hmm. Should we ask about that? Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a little bit of Leo energy here as well. Show me... Show me water signs. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. Mm. Water signs, my, you guys might be in the energy of um, celebrating and wanting to s bring your joy out further because this is cl all clarifying the Sun and the Knight of Cups. Something is making you feel very positive about what's, what's coming ahead. The next holiday is Valentine's. You might have a Valentine, the secret Valentine. Water signs might be wanting to make an offer. Uh, the energy is definitely one of immense gratitude. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, show me Leo. The lovers. Two of wands. Three of Pentacles. Mm. I just realized death is here too, Scorpio. But we we sort of got got Scorpio in the um, in the water signs here. So uh, Leo, if you've got Leo in your chart in any sort of significant way, it's. Leos, I feel like, have been doing more of the internal work, but are looking to express that in an outwardly way, or now understanding how this new perspective is going to lead them into the future through some sort of new collaboration with another person or a group of people. Okay, uh, one final clarification. We have the new moon. I'm taking this as um, the next new moon cycle which is the 31st, again, a week from, you know, just after the end of the retrograde. So any advice here on, you know, a week from today or a week from, you know, next seven to 10 days here, what does this new project, this new beginning really mean? What is starting up? King of Pentacles showed up last night, the Emperor Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's like you will know. Okay, so whatever work has you've been doing regarding your own security, financial stability, um, there is there is immense. There, this is totally like new project vibes because there's a ton of inspiration. Someone's been doing their research, and now feels that, that they have a ton of confidence to go after s something that they want. This might have to do with money. Uh, there's Aries. It's interesting. Someone's, someone is inspired to maybe take back control of their own life here a little bit and um, in terms of their own stability. But there's, there's hell of a lot of inspiration. There might be a new beginning or an adventure. Um, starting just at the perfectly right time because you've done your research and because you've, dis you've made the decision already that this is what you're going to go for. 
So no more of this quarter game. If you've watched some of the early videos, the metaphor at the time was a quarter game where it's like you have a bunch of quarters and the and it's um, the slide, the quarter slide sort of oscillates back and forth and you're sort of just being like, when is the right time to do this? And so we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. It's almost like you've been waiting so long you've and that you've read the entire manual of this quarter game. Not only that, you figured out how to stop it exactly where you want it, and now you're going to throw some quarters down that slide, okay, to get some sort of big reward. So, if you've done the work, congrats. If you haven't, don't feel bad. Just, um, just take it as it comes and trust your intuition about what it is you want to be doing here in the next uh, month or so. But the, the delayed start to this year is hopefully coming to an end soon, and I hope, I hope that you get exactly what you wish for. That's it. Thanks for watching. Do the thing. Like the video. Share, subscribe, whatever it is you got to do. I'll see you on the next one.